Well, it may still be a million degrees outside, but before you know it, fall will be here. And the Pima County Master Gardeners has several educational and fun activities already lined up for you. Joyce Nill is here to showcase one of them. And Joyce, actually, the fall time is a really busy time for you guys. It is. Um, this um, September, if you've ever wished that you could start a vegetable garden, we have the best opportunity for you. We have Master Gardener Tony Moore is going to be teaching two different vegetable classes this fall. And Tony Moore has been a Master Gardener for 15 years, so she could write a book on vegetable gardening. Wow. I love it. Well, I have to tell you, because we've been trying to do our own garden, we're some of the people that need these seminars. Because, <laughs> you know, our tomatoes are doing great, and our cucumbers are doing great, and then everything else that we planted, which was a lot of things, they're not even popping up. So I know we're doing something wrong. So to maybe tell us kind of some of the things that we're going to learn in these seminars. Well, the very first sermon, uh, seminar is called Veggie Gardening 101. And this is for someone who's a beginner, or it could be for someone who's moved here from another part of the country. And they're not really used to our soil or our different seasons. So she's going to be teaching composting, uh, seed selection, um, what soil amendments needed to be done, as well as selecting the correct seeds for the right season. Then her second class, which is going to be held a week later, that second class is more advanced. And in here, it's a class for someone like yourself because oh. it's for what to do <laughs> when things go wrong. And she said it will discuss soil deficiencies, um, plant diseases, identifying good insects versus bad insects, all the oddities of vegetable gardening. Is there at any point are we going to cover, because let's be honest, in Arizona, not all of us have this like big sprawling land that we can uh, make gardens. Do we conquer that topic of maybe I don't have a very big area? Yes, and she is the perfect person to be teaching this class because she's not only well versed in in-ground gardening, but also in pots that you might have on your patio. So this is going to be perfect for people who have condos, live in a condo or a townhouse or a renter. So let's say that you have um, some little pansies that you like to put out in the winter. You can pop some um, lettuce seeds in there. So you'll have fresh lettuce during the winter time. Wow. Or there's other people who plant in five gallon pails and they put that out on their patios. And she will help with the soil amendments that need to be done for a container like that. But also the seed selection because that's also important. All of this is so fascinating, and you think, you know, you just dig a hole, you throw a seed in, and, and you're done. But, I mean, there really is kind of a science to this, and, and definitely an art. So I know it's still very hot, and we're all still kind of getting through summer, but is this kind of the time, Joyce, that we should be planning what we're going to do for our fall garden? The key word is planning. That's perfect. Yes, fall is the perfect time to be planting, so this is the time when you plan it. And we not only have publications online, but we also have printed publications at our offices and we also have samples of seed catalogs but you can come to our offices tour we have both in-ground vegetable gardens for demonstrations and we also have container vegetable gardens so you can kind of see what the difference is you can see what they're growing but you can also come into the office there and see some of the publications because the research is done by the University of Arizona and that is our goal is to disperse that information. And as we're rolling into fall, when I think fall, I think pumpkins, I think gourds, I think, you know, uh, di different things, you know, spiced lattes, I guess, <laughs> uh, come to mind. But I love these gourds that you brought because, you know, some people think I see them in the stores or at a farmer's market, but I don't really know what to do with them. We can actually make them into something useful. There, uh, This is great. This is a class that's coming up as well in September. Master Gardener Deb North is going to be teaching a class on how to take gourds and create birdhouses. And these are functional birdhouses that you can actually put outside. So think of it as art in the garden. Um, for a very small fee, Deb will walk you through the entire process of um, prep work, 
painting, all you need to do is to show up with your creativity. She'll have all the supplies there for you. These oh, are beautiful. These are so beautiful. I was saying, you know, my daughter would just absolutely love to take part in this. She loves animals and she loves art, and I think this is the perfect combination of both. Now, um, Joyce, for anybody who's really interested in these seminars and workshops, how do we get more information and maybe sign up? They can go online. There's a uh, website on screen, and also there's a telephone number. You can call that number, and there's more information. We do suggest people sign up in advance, especially for our classes because they seem to fill up quickly and we have limited space. So we do wish that people would sign up quickly on that. Excellent. Is there a fee for these? Or? There's a small fee for everything, but on the other hand, you get all your handouts, everything is included in it. Amazing. Well, Joyce, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to stop by and bringing us these beautiful gourd bird houses. I hope that um, some of our viewers will attend and then send us pictures of their own bird Oh, house. wouldn't that oh. be fun? Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, that'd be so fun. So make sure to do that. And again, thank you so much for joining us Well, this thanks morning. for inviting me. And there is a breakdown again of the education events on your screen now, so take a look. And for more information, you can call 626-5161 or log on to extension.arizona.edu.